Hi, it's Lauren. Welcome back to my craft room. Thanks for joining me to watch a Christmas video. <laughs> yes, I know it's September, but Whimsy Stamps has this adorable new Pups for Christmas stamp set, and I just had to make a fun Christmas card with them. I've stamped them out onto some Express It Smooth cardstock, which is excellent for alcohol markers, and I use my Ink on 3 Blackout Ink, which is my favorite ink for um, coloring with alcohol markers and everything. It's a great hybrid ink. So I'm going to share how I colored in each color. So here is all my green coloring and my red coloring. I did my very best to keep my caps on my desktop. I did miss out on a couple, but um, just kind of showing you what colors I'm choosing to color these in. I don't have any Copic markers. I use Spectrum Noir Illustrator markers and so if anyone's out there that uses Spectrum Noir rather than Copic, I hope that this is helpful for you. I also have some golden colors. I colored in the tops of my little trees here and I decided to turn those pom-poms on my stocking into little golden bells. I also colored in my three little puppies in different colors. I thought it would be fun to have some more color variation since I went very traditional Christmas red and green colors for most of my images. I wanted to have a little bit of variation in my puppies. So my first puppy I am coloring completely in with one color in this color group, this GB color. I only have one, so I am just going to layer up and darken up along the edges of my pup and anywhere where there would be shadow using this one color. For my next puppy, I'm going to use some brown grays, and for this I actually have more than one shade. So I start out with my darkest, kind of creating an outline. Blending that out using a mid-tone and then finally coming in with my lightest and blending it all together and then I go back through again with the colors just to add more contrast and just to really blend in those colors as much as I can. So I just love these little puppies. I know we've been making Halloween cards and I'm still very much in the Halloween spirit, in fall spirit, but I created the reveal video for Whimsy Stamps for this stamp set and I just really wanted to create a video for my channel sharing how I put together my Christmas puppy slimline card because they're adorable and I just think they're so fun to color. I love when I get really cute critters to use on projects my for my Whimsy projects. For my last puppy, I'm going to use some darker earth brown color. So I'm starting out with my darkest shade, just like I did with my little sleeping puppy, and kind of outlining the image anywhere where there would be shadow, and then bringing in my mid-tone just to blend that out a little bit. And then again, I will use my lightest color to just overlap the color and blend everything together, coloring all of my white space that I left behind. And I'm going to do that twice just to really kind of blend in that color because there's kind of a harsh line. And um, I also am trying to grow my marker collection. I've noticed as I've been coloring more and more that I need some more shades of things like oranges. And obviously I need some more of those GB colors because I only had one to color in my little puppy in the present box. So after I'm done with my puppies, I outlined anything with white with just a really light ice gray color and then used a colorless blender to blend that out. My fireplace, I'm going to give it a wooden top mantle. That's what I was looking for, a wood mantle. So I'm using my tan colors and coloring it in as I would imagine a wood mantle would look like. Again, alternating between my darkest and my mid-tone and blending everything together with my lightest color. My stones in my fireplace are the same color as my sleeping puppy, so I just skipped that part and I colored my logs in my campfire the same color as my mantle. 
Now I wanted the inside of my fireplace to be as dark as possible. So I'm going to put three layers of that dark brown gray in the background in between coloring my fire using different shades of orange and yellow. I just really want it to look like it was dark inside my fireplace because it was like inside my fireplace. So there would be I guess a glow from the fireplace, but I wanted it to be darker than if it were on the outside. And here are all of my cute colored in images. I used my brother's scan and cut to cut them out and I created a layout on a piece of slimline paper just to kind of get a feel of what I'm going to be doing. So now for my background, I originally was going to distress my complete background. So I'm going to start with post-it notes and create a mask of how high I want my ground or my floor to go. And I'm going to distress in some brown ink. So I'm just making sure I have a good mask and then I'm going to place it onto my make art board and grab my magnets to help keep that in place. I'm going to realize that I need to move it up because I'm going to be distressing on the bottom of this cardstock. And this is a bristle smooth cardstock, which is really great for blending distress oxides. I'm bringing out my tea dye and a large brush, and I'm just going to, I almost said emboss, distress this color onto my bristle smooth and just cover the whole bottom part of this paper. And then I'm going to remove my mask and I started to put my mask on the bottom and then I remembered that I have some more slimline paper pack from Whimsy Stamps which is a black and white dog print as well as a cat print. I thought it would be fun to choose one of those prints to create kind of a wallpaper background. So I find one with a bunch of bones that I really like and I decided to go with that one because I thought it wasn't too overwhelming and it created a nice subtle background for my puppies and it also kind of looked like a repeating wallpaper. I'm going to grab my T ruler so I can measure how large I need to cut this piece of paper to cover the top part of my card and I trim that down perfectly to fit and I'm going to use wet glue to adhere this down to the top of my background that I've been working on. So now that that is done, I can start gluing and adhering all of my images. I'm just going to put them down as close as I can to that layout that I had shown earlier in the video. But my fireplace is going to line up those stamped lines that create the where the wall and the floor meet. I'm going to make sure that lines up perfectly between my brown distressed ground and my bone <laughs> wallpaper wall. So you can see I've centered it onto my background, making sure that those lines line up perfectly. And then I'm going to alternate between wet glue and some foam adhesive circles to adhere everything down. And once I've attached my last little element here, I'm going to clean up my workspace. And then I thought I would actually really like to see a thin border around my scene here of my card base. So I'm being very daring and I'm trimming off a 16th. I think that's what it is. A 16th off of each edge of my card. So that way my card base will be exposed just around the edge of my background. Just wanted to bring in a little more color, I guess. My floor was very brown and I kind of wish I added more texture to it. So I wanted to bring in another color just to kind of brighten up the scene a little. So after I was done trimming off, I grabbed a piece of red cardstock and there you can see, I really like that. <laughs> I have trimmed it down to be seven by eight and a half scored it at the three and a half so that way my overall slimline card base is eight and a half by three and a half. I used some wet glue and adhered my background to my card base and I'm really loving that. I'm glad I decided to do that last minute and that I didn't mess up. <laughs> I'm using my scoring tool just to help make sure that crease of my card looks good. And then I'm gonna grab some pops of color. I'm using Rudolph Red, which is very fitting for this card, and just adding in some red dots to my garland. I grabbed my glitter pops of color and added it to my 
little stocking as well as the red of my little present for my puppy here and then I use just a regular clear pops of color to my lollipop just to give it some shine and that will finish off my card. I did off screen use my white gel pen to add some highlights to my images and here is a final look of the card. I hope you like this card and if you did you'll hit that like button and if you're new to my channel I hope I've inspired you to subscribe and come back. You can find links to everything that I use to create this card down in my description. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day.